Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's uh, really early in the morning, like 4, 45 a.m., but uh, I know I'm going on a hike today, so that's why I'm up so early, and I wasn't planning on making a video, but I can't help myself here, so... You know, speaking about not caring what other people think, and don't mind my vibe right now, guys, I'm literally just chilling so hard right now, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, in terms of not caring what other people think, right, I think a big part of it is we're attached to a certain outcome. And the reason we're attached to a certain outcome is because we're getting a sense of certainty about our world. Meaning, for example, and this has a lot to do with childhood trauma. As a child, we did something, the world didn't appreciate or accept it, and it hurt us. And as a result, we create strategies and identities that will, one, protect us emotionally, and B, um, give us a sense of certainty in getting love and approval from people that we want it from. Okay, so for example, I said this in previous videos, when I was a kid, young, less than 10 years old, whenever I would get well, some of the few times I would get angry, it wasn't, it wasn't accepted. It wasn't properly supported by my parents. Not, not to blame my parents, okay? But what happened was I got angry and, and then I got chastised. I got in trouble. I got yelled at back. And what I learned, what I learned and taught myself as a young kid is that, okay, first of all, I can't be angry. And second of all, I literally need to be how my parents want me to be or else they're going to fucking yell at me and I'm going to lose access to their love, right? Their gifts, their, their resources, right? And this is getting really primitive and uh, visceral here, meaning like this desire to like ditch your true self in favor of a fake self. You're literally just trying to survive. You're literally just trying to survive emotionally, physically, spiritually, seriously. And so unfortunately, what happens is, first of all, the, no one is telling us that this is what's going on at a young age. And so then we grow up not knowing that we're being run by this unconscious program called protect myself from people and things that won't see me and be be a fake piece of crap so that at le at the very least I know I'll be safe seriously and so in my experience in my journey the process of not caring what other people think has been more so about letting go of a lot of beliefs and emotions and traumas that simply don't serve me and simply don't align with being your true self and so I'm going to be upfront in that that journey can feel long, especially if you're in the beginning and you can feel like you're a ways away from getting to that place. But as clear as it sounds, Rome wasn't built in a day. And so my sense of freedom, my sense of liberation, my sense of empowerment, which I don't have every second of the day, I want you to know that. But where I'm at today was literally a product of laying the foundations brick by brick and i can assure you that you don't have to really force it instead just allow the process to unfold and just accept where you are now and and work on where you're at now and by working on where you're at now you'll be able to get to the next level in fact the only way to get to that next level is to work on what you need to work on right now and so just consider that whatever personal deep issue if you will you're facing, that's where your focus needs to be, because that's what's right in front of you. And once you have that handled, however long it takes, the next level will then present itself. And again, I can assure you that I swear I felt like I went through the same challenges and obstacles for like 12 years. So if you feel like you're going in circles, consider that yes, you're dealing with the same issues, but you are growing stronger, believe it or not. I know it doesn't always look like that or feel like that, but that is the case. I can speak from experience, okay? Especially with working people as well in this space. So consider that not caring what other people think is more so about 
releasing within yourself these false beliefs and taking a look within yourself. Where do you judge yourself? Where do you judge the world? And so it's not even about other people. It's about yourself. Because if you fully accepted yourself, if you fully loved yourself, if you fully, you know, built your own self-esteem up for yourself, then you wouldn't be relying on the opinions of other people to hold you together, right? Because when you're held together on your own accord, you can walk the world freely because you don't need other people to show up. You don't need them to be impressed by you. You don't need them to give you attention or admiration. That is something you give to yourself, right? You're more independent emotionally. And so if you find yourself not yet there, not there yet, then don't worry. Most people aren't. And in fact, you are someone who's on the path. So consider yourself a rare breed, really. Okay, so hopefully that helped. I couldn't help myself but post a video today for y'all. I just, you know, it's part of what makes my life so great. And um, quick story, funny story. So yesterday's video was about giving, right? And I went to Target and I walked out. I was with my sister and we never see like street performers outside of our local Target, but someone was playing a saxophone and he was kind of being low key, like not like he wasn't right in front of the doors. He was, in fact, in the parking lot, like kind of low key, but he was playing some like, you know, he's playing good music. And my sister mentioned that the song he was playing at the time was um, our grandma's favorite song or something like that. And, you know especially in the spirit of giving, like I had just said in the video, in the last video, you know, I, I popped out the wallet and gave the guy some money. Um, and, you know, I don't even think he didn't take the time to acknowledge me. I think that was his, his MO. Like he doesn't want to, you know, he wants to keep playing. He's not trying to be overly extra about it. And I wasn't trying to get recognition. It was more so about integrity It was more so about the spirit of it. And, you know, it's, 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 it's just so crazy how things work sometimes that I make a video about giving and the opportunity to give presents itself. So let's talk about magic. That's what I was talking about. I'm talking about amongst other things. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. I'll leave you guys with a lasting message from uh, Pharrell Williams company, Billionaire Boys Club. It says. Oh, it's kind of backwards. Hold on. Whatever it says. Wealth is of the heart and mind, not the pocket. All right, have a good rest of your day. Have a good weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow, Friday. And uh, yeah, stay up. Love y'all, peace.